simply dying to meet my mother and father. He gave me these passes because he was positively dying to meet you all. Hey, Jinx, in case you're interested, there's a girl down here waiting for you. Three of her, complete with families. Oh, I was afraid of that. See if you can locate those two pals of mine and tell them to get rid of them. Don't talk to that air crazy baboon. Hey, what are you trying to do, ruin me? Yes, Mr. Gonigal. When you stay up there so long, my sideshows are starving to death. Now, come on, get down here. Listen, Gonigal, I'll come down when I get good and ready. There's got to be something in your corny show to give the customers their money's worth. That lug gets down here, tell him he's fired. All right, friends, it's only a nine. One score for the end for the entire family. It's wacky, it's daffy, it's crazy. Well, we all have fun. Step right up, how many? There's nothing that we're here for to make you happy. Where's that nitwit partner of yours? He was here a minute ago. You guys are as dizzy as your pal up there. Now go on, get over to the hit the umpire concession. Another guy just got hit in the head and had to go to the hospital. That's the fifth umpire I've lost this week. Joe will take over here. And keep that little fat partner out of my sight, will you? Every time I turn around, he's under my feet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, all right. You'll have to get off. This is as far as I go. Take it easy. Come on. All right, now take it easy, boss. With that crush. Come on, get up. All right, Come on, you're It's dizzy. It's one dime, ten cents. The crazy house. Goofier and dizzier than any place you've ever been. Get in there and get to work. Come on, you. Come on, get in when he tells you. Come on, come on, get up. What are you doing? Just do as the boss tells you. Come on, now, do as you're told. What you do? Put your head right in there. Now, you like to play ball games. I love to play baseball games. What part do you like to play? I want to be the boss. The big boss. The big boss? I want to be the umpire. Well, you are the umpire. Okay. Everything all right? That's the boy. All right, friends, step right up. Three balls for a nine. Kill the umpire. Go ahead. Go ahead. Kill him, neighbor. Knock his brains out. Come on, buddy. Come on, Wait a, wait a minute. Get another wait. boy. No. My mother never raised no foolish children. Look, look, they're only cheap balls. Yeah? Look. You... <laughs> wait a minute. Here, now, come here now. Wait a minute. Listen, I'm up. going home. I forgot something. What'd you forget? I forgot to stay there. Well, all right. Here, I'll straighten that out. Come here. Here. There's a protector. Put that on. There you are. See, now when the ball hits the protector, it bounces off. This is a protector. Certainly. And the ball bounces off the protector. Well, certainly. Did you ever stop to figure out what makes the little ball bounce off the protector? What? My head! Now, look, will you listen to me, please? Look, you see that bat up there? Yeah. I have absolute control. That was this little button here. Yeah. I press the button, they throw the ball, the batter hits the ball, and that's all there is to it. You can't oh, get hurt. Somebody throws the ball, you press the button, and the bat hits the ball? That's all. <laughs> I got it. Watch it. Hey! Don't forget, push the button. Okay. Yeah. Wait until I say ready. What did you say? I said wait until I say ready. Okay. What's the matter with you? Why don't you put your shirt tail in? Who do you play for, Brooklyn? Go on, get back there. Go on. Not until I say prepared. Not... You thought I was going to say ready. All right, folks, step right up. Three balls for nine. Kill the umpire. Come on. Knock his brains out. I'm going to kill more of the That's the idea of the game. Ready. That's fine. Ready. Hey. Yeah. Ready. Put on your... Ready. Never mind that. Put on your... Wait a minute. Ready. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. All right, all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. What's the matter with you? Oh. Stay back there where you belong. That's enough. I'm sure. Here, here, here. What's going quit. on? Oh, you okay. big oh, oh, push me. Shit. Don't tell me I can't That's quit. I can quit. That's the boss. That's the boss. What do I... Come on, boss. I mean, this guy over here is using my head for a baseball. Well, I'll use it for a football. Oh, you don't he... get back to work. Now, go on. Ah, you know, uh, he... poison ivy. Now you made me say a rash word. Take it easy. Oh. 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 Wait, Wait a minute, Gonigal. No. No. Get him if I were you. No, you wouldn't, wouldn't you? No. Well, you're not me. But if I was you, I'd take my plan and get out of here. As far as I'm concerned, you're grounded. Yeah? Well, then this will make two of us. Come on, boys, let's get out of here. Bullseye. Bullseye. Go ahead, Jeeks. Did and you fall down? Oh, he hurt himself. Poor kid. All right. Now you're fired. You get out of here, too. And if I ever find you back here again, I'll have you thrown out. Oh, we've been thrown off better places than this. That's right. Well, you won't get back on this one. Well, we didn't get back on the other ones. Oh. Boy, what a place. Mm -hmm. May I 
I check your hat? Hmm. I don't mean to get inquisitive, but who's going to pay this check? No, oh, don't worry. I'll pay it. We're going to celebrate. Celebrate? Yeah. Celebrate getting fired? No, you don't think I'd let that gun go fire us if I wasn't ready to quit, do you? We got a real job now. A real job? Yeah. We're in the Army. Buck, Buck Privates? No, in the Air Corps. The order just came through to report at the Cal Aero School. It's right near here. Get this. They're going to pay me a salary while I'm learning to fly. Hey, you a salary to learn how to fly? That's At right. At last, I'll get my wings. wings. <laughs> oh. All right. Come on, will you pick yourself up? What's the matter with you? Excuse me. Daddy, daddy, daddy. You always get that look in your eye when you see a girl. Not me. I'm not going to fall just for anyone. I'm going to wait until the right girl comes along. And here she is. Ah. Come on. Come that was a fast romance, wasn't it? Never mind that. Sit down right here. Over here. This is swell. Nice table, isn't it? I'll have a hamburger. It's quiet. We'll order something from the menu. Okay. Say, you know, Jinx, there's one thing you overlooked about the army. What's that? No women. Women? You hate that? Yeah. I never thought of it. You know what we need? We need a union. What kind of union? A woman haters union. We should organize it right here. Oh, yeah? All right. Every union has officers. All those in favor of me being president say aye. Aye. The ayes have it. I have a vice president. All right, all those in favor of me being vice president say aye, aye. We want to be the whole union. I mean, after all, we want to be something in the union, Jinx. I'm elected president, so I appoint you secretary. Swell. I'm going to be something in this union, or I'll stuff the ballot box. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How much money have you got? $30. All right, you be the treasurer. All right? Fine. Okay, you're the I'm going to be the treasurer with my own $30. What's wrong? Well, what's wrong with that? That's not fair. Well, now, wait a minute. We've got $10 a piece in this treasury, you know. So be careful how you handle our money. Here's what we'll do. We won't walk with the woman. Talk to a woman or look at a woman. It's a deal. Okay? Right. Shake. That's the boy. One for all and all for one. That's what I say. One for all and all for me. Never thought I'd fall, but now I hear love call. I'm getting sentimental over you. Things you say and do just thrill me through and through. I'm getting sentimental over you I thought I was happy I could live without love Now I must admit love is all I'm thinking of Won't you please be kind And just make up your mind That you be sweet and gentle be gentle with me, I'm getting sentimental over you. Never thought I'd fall, but now I hear love call. I'm getting sentimental over you. All the things you say and do just thrill me through and through. I'm getting sentimental over you I thought I was happy I could live without love Now I must admit love is all I'm thinking of Won't you please be kind And just make up your mind That you'll be sweet and gentle Be gentle I'm getting sentimental over you. Thank you. It isn't easy to say goodbye. It's been a grand engagement here, and you've all been wonderful. And I wouldn't dream of leaving for any other job except the one I'm going to, with the hostess corps of the USO. Goodbye, and thank you all again. Wait a minute. Stick to the union. Watch out. Yeah, speaking of the union, what about my $10? What's in those? Give me the $10 of mine you got in the treasury. What's he talking about? Well, you're holding $30 of our money. Give him his $10. Give him his $10. Why not? That's why I'm the treasurer. Sure. Wait a minute. I mean, after all, I'm giving you $10. I don't know what for. Give me, you know... Look, uh... give him an IOU, Jinx. All right. He just wants to, keep, he wants to keep his book straight. I want to be a businessman. I owe you $10. Here, sign it. That's very good. I'll sign it. See, it's very businesslike. Heathcliff. H-E-E-C. There you are. Thanks. Okay. 
See, that's what I mean. Now keep your books right and okay. do it like business. What was the idea of that? Wait a minute. What was the idea of that? Wait a minute. What's it? It's all right. Everything's all right. Congratulations, Linda. Thank you. It's the soldiers that should be congratulated. Where are you going to be stationed, Linda? Well, how about this farewell dance, Linda? How about me? I'm sorry, Miss Joyce has this dance with me. Excuse us, boys. We're sitting this one out. Excuse me, Charlie. Here, this table will do. There. Now, here we are. How have you been, Linda? By the way, my name is Jinx Roberts. Not really. The Jinx Roberts? Oh, you've heard of me. No. Now, if you don't mind, oh, I... Don't get sore. After all, what's a guy supposed to do when he finally sees a girl that he's been dying to meet all his life and there's nobody to introduce him? Well, all right. Now, we've met Mr. Roberts, and it's been a perfectly beautiful friendship. Too bad it has to end. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, wait Linda. a minute. Jim! Hi. What kept you? Sorry to be late, Linda. We were delayed in traffic. I'm glad to see you. I was Why, just... Why, Roberts. Huh. Long. It's been a long time. Not long enough. You two know each other? Yes, we know each other. You phone through any storms lately? You're still a fair weather pilot. Jim, I'd like to dance. But don't go away, Craig. I want to see you. Excuse us. Same old technique, eh, Roberts? I wouldn't advise it with Linda. No? Tell me more. Jenks, there's something I wanted to straighten out with you for a long while. Let's sit down and talk it over. We've got nothing to talk over. You've already straightened things out beautifully for me about four years ago. Remind me to thank you for it someday. Can I cut in? Well, thanks. Hey, Blackie, looks like we're going to have you in trouble. Get a load of that guy. Looks bad. You know, I ought to pick at the guy. That's what I ought to do. Well, let's do it. Let's make a sign. Yeah. That's what we'll do. We'll fix it. You got a pencil? No. Wait a minute. I'll get some. All right. I beg your pardon. Can I have your lipstick for a minute? <laughs> sure, dearie. <laughs> now, sweetie, here's some bobby pins in case you want to put your hair up. <laughs> here's a cigar in case you want to smoke. Here's a punch in the nose in case you want to fight. Here's your $10 in case you want to quit the union. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Let's make the sign. Say, is that on the level about you and that USO business? Oh, of course it is. Have you any idea where you'll be stationed? Why, the new unit near the Cal Arrow Flying School. No. You know who's going to be there starting tomorrow? No. Me! Hey, Jinx! Jinx! Remember the union! Hey, Jinx! The union! In union, they're restrained. Got to stick together, Jinx! Do you mind if I cut in? Why, certainly not, Heathcliff, but go right ahead. Oh, thank you. Huh? What is this? It's a new type of dance. Are you kidding? Uh, what? Go away. What do you want to do, wrestle? Precisely, my pal Jinx. Nobody gets in here without a pass. Thank now you. get going. Let's go over the administration building. Take it out. All right, all right. Pick yourself up. Hey, Blackie, this ain't the administration building. This is USO. USO? USO. USO, USO. What does it mean? No, USO. United Service Organization. See, this building is donated by the government and supported by unselfish Americans. This building here provides for these boys entertainment and refreshments and books and... In other words, everything to make it a home away from home. You understand now? All but one thing. What's what that? does you so mean? No, all right, come on inside. Let's find out where the administration building is so we can get our pass. 
Everything all right, boys? Yes, not right. Do you care for any more to eat? Well, that's all, thanks. Okay. Let's play a game of football. Gloria! Gloria, is the other cake ready? Come on up! Well, bring on the army. Woohoo! Gloria. Gloria. Look, sister dear. One of these fine, sharp days, I'm going to teach you how to get a man in six easy lessons. That's what I said. Oh, tennis. Improves. I am sorry, sir. What do you think I am, the eight ball? What are you trying to do, ruin the man's game? No. Uh, who's in charge here? Miss Phelps at the counter, sir. Over there? Right, thanks. I beg your pardon, could you tell me where the administration building is? Uh, over there, inside the gate. Yes, but how do you get in there to get a pass? Well, you can't get inside the gate without a pass. To get a pass to get inside the gate. It's very intriguing. Yes. Come on. Won't you boys have something to eat? Yes, ma'am. I would... Yeah, please, please. What do you mean, yes, ma'am? We've only got a quarter, you know that. Do you understand? What's wrong with you? What's happened to you? Well, a quarter, we can get something to eat. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll order a turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee, see? And uh, I'll give you half. But if she asks you if you want anything, you just say, no, I don't care for anything. And if she asks me if I want something, I say, I don't you care say, for nothing. That's right. Give me we're going to put something over. No, 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 we're not, not putting anything over. I'm going to try to slicker. That's all we got is a quarter. Hey, uh, shoot me for a couple of big shots. That's a boy. Come I don't on. care for nothing. That's right. Uh, give me a turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee, please. What do you have? I don't care for nothing. Oh, go ahead, have something. Give me a turkey sandwich. Then. I just get through telling you. I refused once, didn't I? That's enough. I know, but we only got a quarter. I mean, but the waitress says to me, go ahead, have something. I said, I don't care for nothing. Then you never, said, go ahead. Never mind that. You can't order. Never mind what I say. No matter I, how much you coax me? No matter how much I coax you, you just say, I don't want anything. I'll say I'll fill it up, that's all. That's all, we only got a quarter. I ain't, but I say I will. Well, say that. Okay, then I'll give you half of my turkey sandwich. Okay, I don't care for nothing. Uh, that turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee, please. And what do you have? I don't care for nothing. Oh, go ahead, have something. Go on, and have something. Come on, you, you're in here to eat, right? Yeah. Go ahead, order something. Give me some ham and eggs. Well, I just got through telling you. What did you coax on me for? Just a minute. We've only got a quarter. I know, but don't keep saying, go ahead, take something. I said, I don't Never care mind. you said, go ahead, take Never something. Mind. Never mind what I say. Just don't order anything. How are you going to pay for it? I'm filled up. I don't know if That's I'm up. Different. That's different. No matter how much I coach you, you don't want Man, anything. I'm deaf. I don't say anything. Right, quiet. Word. You want a sandwich. You can't pay for two turkey sandwiches. Now, come on. I don't care for nothing. You don't want anything. Uh, that turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee, please. Yes. Thanks. And what do you have? I don't care for nothing. Oh, sure you do. Now, stop asking me. I don't care for nothing. That's all. I'm not in the mood you to eat. You told me that you were hungry. I know. I told you a lot of things, but I ain't going to eat. That's well, all. Are you hungry? I beg your pardon, miss, but I'm not hungry. You are hungry. Now, look, you're in a restaurant. What do people go to a restaurant for? Not me. I'm just what in here. What do people go to a restaurant for? Sometimes I wonder. They go there to eat. Yeah, eat. That's what you're here that's for. That's a wonderful word, eat. Well, all right, order something. I'm not hungry. Now, listen. You want people to think I'm a cheapskate around here? Well, go on, order something. Order something small. Give me a small steak. But I just, but I just get through telling you, huh? What do you keep coaxing before? Never mind that coaxing. No matter how much I coax you, you don't want anything. Now sit down there and behave yourself. Let the turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee, please. Turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. He don't care for anything. Yes. Thanks a lot. Quiet. Where are you going? I'm going to get out of here. What for? I mean, you wanted to get nothing to eat. I told you I'd give you half. You can have the sandwich. Don't worry about it. Oh, hiya, fellas. Where you have? Oh, Here we go again. Do I have to write it down for you? Oh, smart guy. Uh, hey, you're kind of cute. No, never mind that. Where's my turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee? Turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. That's for you. <laughs> hey, Blackie. Hmm? She gave me the cake for nothing. That don't mean we're engaged, does it? Oh, certainly not. I'm too young to fall in love. La. Here's your turkey sandwich. Thanks. I, I'm sorry I took so long. Oh, that's all right. I, I hope you enjoy it. Well, I will. Uh -huh. uh, that'll cost you 10 cents, please. Hmm? You just give it to me for nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. There must be some mistake. Indian giver. Do you like cranberries? Oh, sure. I do, too. That's funny. I'll, I'll get you some. All right. <laughs> I thought she liked me. What do you mean? <laughs> How should she like me? Quiet. We ain't got no more turkey. Huh? What's the matter with the cake? Why don't you eat the cake? I lost my appetite. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, there is. What? Is there any way you can sneak us through the game? Well, it's, a, it's against the rules, but um, the guard's a friend of mine. I think I can kind of fix it for you. Now she likes me again. <laughs> what is this? Wait, I'll go get my hat. Come oh. on, eat the cake. It's on me. What is she chewing, tobacco? No. 
Show me what light. I got it. Oh, try the horse. Well, it's quite easy to tell. Okay. Here's your cranberry. Thanks a lot. That's good. Mm -hmm. I said that'll be ten cents, please. You just give me the cake for nothing when you want to get your hat. Hat? What hat? Well, you said you was going to sneak us through the gate. I never told you I was going to sneak you through any gate. First you tell me I can have the cake for nothing, then I can't have the cake for nothing. Then you say there ain't no turkey, and then there is turkey. Then you say you're going to sneak us through the gate, now you're not going to sneak us through the gate. Why don't you make up your mind? How dare you yell at me? I'm a brute, huh? Yeah. You gonna leave me half? All right. Well, come on, fellas. Grab my hat. Let's hit the road. Let's get out of here. Okay. Yes. Let's see how those boys get in. place, huh? Oh, no. Gentlemen, by your presence here, you have indicated your ambition to become a part of the greatest air force the world has ever known. I congratulate you upon your decision. In point of years, the story of the Army Air Corps is a brief one but it is also a distinguished one. Your training of 20 weeks here will be an exacting task. But when it is completed, you will go on to advanced training in the Army's West Point of the Air. When you graduate, you will be commissioned in the Air Corps of the United States Army. One word of warning, some of you men won't make the grade, but being washed out as flyers needn't mean that you're out of the service. There are other jobs in the Corps that are just as important. Aeronautical engineers, observers, navigators, meteorologists, photographers, and a host of others. Remember, for every pilot that hits the blue, it takes many other highly trained men to keep his ship in shape, on its course, and properly manned. Those men are the backbone of the Corps. I'll turn you over now to Major Barstow, who will be in charge of your instruction. Gentlemen, you are in the Army. While you are here, your flying instructor will be your most important associate. Although that flight instructor is a civilian, you must remember that he is acting in the capacity of an officer of the Army and will be treated as such. Best of luck and keep them flying. Hey, Heathcliff, there's Jinx now. 
Boy, don't you wish you could fly a plane like him? Not me. I don't want to get in any airplanes, brother. I want to stay on a good old terra firma. And the firmer the terra, the terra I'm going to firmer. Take over, mister. Detail. And hut! Forward! Park! Major Barstow's compliments and report to his office at once. Major? Well, thank you for the compliments and show me the way. Here, bud. Well, 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 look who's here and on my reception committee, too. Gee, you look swell in that uniform, baby. Wait till you see me in mine. I have an idea that may be quite a wait. There you are, mister. This way. Okay, okay. See you later, beautiful. Morning, Major. My name is Roberts. They told me to report today at 11. Nice timing, eh? As I observed. For your information, Mr. Roberts, this is a flying school, not a circus. I trust that your entrance just now is intended to be a joke. But understand this. This school is under Army supervision and Army regulations hold. Those regulations are definite and they are enforced. Unless you intend to obey them, you'd better leave the way you came. Well, I think I'll stick around, Major. It's quite apparent that you've had flying experience of a sort. That makes no difference here. You're to start from scratch, learn to fly our ships our way. Get Mr. Morrison. You'll be assigned to an experienced instructor who will have direct charge of your training throughout your course. Yes, Major? A new student foil, Mr. Morrison. Mr. Roberts. So, you're going to teach me to fly. Well, if I'm not the lucky one. I know Roberts, Major, very well. So much the better. You're better acquainted with the many things he's got to unlearn. Here we are. Hello, Jinx. How are you, boy? Glad to see you. Hello. Hey, ain't he a wonderful flyer? Don't he do wonderful things in an airplane? Young man, you're intruding. I think so, too. I should wear a girdle. Who are these men? Oh, these two guys are my pals. These two, him and him. That guy over there, I don't know him at all. I said, who are these men? Must be hard of hearing. These two guys over here are my pals. That guy over there, I don't know. Hard! Oh, I get it. I didn't get it at first. Now I get it. I didn't know what you meant. Take your hand off first. I got heads. You lose. Will someone answer my question? Pardon, Major, but perhaps uh, Roberts could help you out. We're his oh. private ground crew. Private ground crew? Sure. Yeah. So, you didn't think our mechanics were good enough for you, eh? Get these men outside the grounds and keep them out. Wait a minute, Major. You can't do that. I mean, after all, Jinx, Blackie, and I were pals. And when Jinx signed up for the duration, that's what we wanted to do, too. But what can you do? Obviously, you're not pilots, and I doubt if you're very good mechanics. Well, there must be something around here that we can do. Sure, Major. There's thousands and thousands of guys like Blackie and I that want to do something to serve their country. We can't help it if we got flat feet or we've got poor eyesight. Maybe we haven't got training, but we're willing to try. Honestly, we'll try hard, too. It all don't mean nothing if you don't give us this chance. After all, our hearts are in the right places. I understand all that, but... Look, Major, uh... when I was a little bit of a kid, I was too fat to play on a baseball team, so they made me the bat boy. And then when the football season came around, I was... I couldn't run fast enough to make the football team, so... So they made me the water boy. And now, Major, when you're training the biggest team that we ever had, there surely must be a place for Blackie and I, maybe as a water boy or a bat boy. Won't you, Major, give us a chance? Please, Major? Take these men to the chief mechanic and see if he can find something they can do. And keep an eye on them. Thanks, Major. You're a swell fella. I'm gonna see if I can't sneak you into the Woman Haters Union. Jinx, he's a wonderful man. Come on, you two. Wonderful man. Come on. Come on, he's clear. Come on. Come on. Excuse me. They said I was to be in here. Hmm, not so bad. Oh, hello, how are you? 
Say, I'm lucky to get you to room with. You know that little Joyce dame, don't you? Look, I got special plans for that babe. A nice spot all set up for her in the old trophy room. Hey, what's the big idea? Just happens that I'm particular how guys talk about my sister. Your sister? A couple of fine jobs you got for us. Good job, huh? Yeah, a couple of janitors, that's what we are. Oh, well, we're working. Don't tell me, we're just a couple of water boys. What are you talking about? We're right near Jinx. I mean, after all, Jinx was around here. What are you doing with those? Hi, kid. They're mops. What are you doing with the mops? Why, well, we're just carrying out orders. What orders? We were sent over here to mop up the field. Throw them away. Okay, I mean, that's all you're doing. What are you doing? So you guys wanted to get in the air service, huh? Well, brother, you're in it. Now get busy and taxi that plane off the field. Come on, you heard what he said. Taxi the plane off the field. Taxi! Taxi! What are you doing? Oh, taxi! What's the matter with you? Got to get a cab, get the plane off. Oh, no, it's nothing of the kind over here. We've got to get it off. Huh? We've got to get it off. OK. Which way are we going, this way? That way. <laughs> What's the matter now? Can't budget. Come on, get on that wheel. OK. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the matter? Contact! What are you talking about? Oh, ain't you an aviator? Contact! All right. That means... We'll get a hold of it. Come on. Come on. What's wrong? What's wrong now? What, you, what is the... What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What? Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Keep your feet from under the wheel. They say that there's a guy they call Bigfoot Pete. He plays piano by ear. Turn he plays all night for pigs, feet and beer. He's murder on the 88. He's the guy that brought the boogie woogie up to date. He's got a cannon in his left hand and a rifle in his right. He's just a double barrel game. And shoot the eight beats to you at a frightening rate. He's just a solid whiz. Tell you who he is. He's Bigfoot Pete, a boogie woogie's elite. His hands are just as big as Virginia hands. And when they go to work at that bathroom ramp, and when he plays on that box, the joint box, I tell you, BC, your socks wherever boogie is part of the plan. You find a bigger foot and feed the boogie woogie man. Way out in Kansas City on one, two, three. They say that there's a guy they call Bigfoot Pete. He plays piano. His hands are just as big as what in your hands. And when they go to work, they're like bathroom rams. And when he plays on that box, the joint rocks. I tell you, be to your socks wherever boogie is part of the plan. Bigfoot Pete, the boogie woogie man. Bigfoot Pete, the boogie woogie man. They call him Bigfoot. Sandwich? Thank you, Gloria. I'm not Gloria. And if you don't mind hereafter, please call me Miss Phelps. She getting high at? Want a sandwich? Joyce, jump with him. Listen, you just gave me a sandwich. I did not give you a sandwich. Yes, you did, Miss Phelps. Miss Phelps? Oh, just call me Gloria. Why don't you make up your mind? What do you want me to call you? Gloria or Miss Phelps? I'm getting sick of this. Oh. He said, let's have a dance. I don't want to dance. What's the matter? I got another idea. Let's you like go out on the porch. What's the matter? Don't you like dancing? No. That's just a whole lot of hugging set to music. Well, what don't you like about that? The music. Oh, he played. Okay, Miss Phelps. Miss... Oh, please. You can call me anything you want. I can call you anything I want? Mm-hmm. Gloria, you can call me anything you want, too. Okay, jerk. Come on. Isn't it wonderful out here? You and me and the moonlight and the stars. So romantic. Just like the moving pictures. Boy and a girl, they 
They sit alone all by themselves, and first thing you know, they fall in love with each other. Hey. Oh, Miss Cleo. Gloria, take yes. it easy. Oh, I was, I was sort of... Oh. Gloria? Yes? I'm going to ask you something. What, Heathcliff? If I ask you, you can get mad, will you? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Shaved. No, no. I'm going to hide. Gloria. Yes, Heathcliff? Would you? Would I what? Would you? What would I want? Go on. Give me a bite of your sandwich. It's a fine thing. I bring you out here thinking that the moonlight and the stars, you and me alone, will make you very romantic. All you do is get hungry. What oh, fine character. Well, maybe this will mean something. <laughs> oh. Heathcliff, come on, we've got to fix something for Jinx. Boy, am I burned up. You. <whistles> come on. Hurry up. Come on. And that's partly why I gave up my job and came here, Craig. Will you stop worrying? Your brother will get his wings. But are you sure? You think Jim is the first student who's ever had that complex? Well, Pardon I... me, sir. You want it on the phone? On the phone? Mm -hmm. Telephone. Won't be a minute. Mm -hmm. It's right over there in the corner. Way, way over there in the corner. Right. right this booth. This booth right here. Thank you. It's all right. Hello. Hello. Yes? Yes, what? Uh, this is Morrison. Who? Morrison. He ain't here. He ain't around. I don't want Morrison. You don't want him, then what are you, what are you calling the guy up for, then? I'm not calling anybody. Oh, a practical joker, huh? Will you get off the line? I'm waiting for a party. Oh, a party, eh? Well, I'm sorry. I was to a party last night. I can't go again tonight. Two nights in a row is no good for me. Who is this? I won't tell you who is this until you tell me who is you. Listen. I'm Morrison. Morrison. Morrison, eh? When the guy gets here, I'll tell him you want to talk to him. Listen, you bird brain baboon. I'm trying to explain to you that this, that I'm no, Morrison. No, no, no. You, you'll, you'll have to keep quiet and don't shout so loud. I can't hear what my party's saying. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, now, uh, listen. Craig, there's another thing you must understand. Jim wants to fly more than anything else in the world. It's only that... When he was a kid, he saw his dad crash. He's never been able to forget it. When it came time for him to solo, he couldn't make it. He got sick. You know? Sure, plenty of us know. We're keeping quiet. We're just as anxious for Jim to solo as you are. Linda, do you think that anybody who knows anything about flying could have forgotten your father and what he did for the game? I... I don't know what... Look, I didn't come here to talk about your brother. I'm much more interested in your brother's sister. Why do you think I got rid of Morrison? Listen, for the past five minutes, I've been trying to tell you somebody called Morrison. Oh, why don't he answer? Because I'm Morrison. I'll tell him when he gets in. Listen, if I had my hands on you, I'd bust you right in the nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll fight you. I'll fight you. And I'll fight you. And I'll fight you. And I'll fight you. And I'll fight you. We better call it a draw. You better call it a draw. Listen, as soon as you hang up, brother, I'll meet you outside in front of the recreation room in five minutes. I'll be there. Don't forget to be there. Yeah. Don't have any of those other cadets around to help you. I don't need any other cadets. I'll be there all alone. You're darn right, because I ain't gonna be there. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Just had some trouble with the guy on the phone. Me too. <laughs>
hit the beam and get those planes in the sky. And let's keep them flying there. We're an all-American team. And we see every play eye to eye. Hit them hard and fast. Let that be our theme. And let's keep them flying high. Join that American eagle up there. Keep the skies clear together. He's the undisputed king in the air. And that makes us birds of a feather. Spread your wings, you eagles, and fly. Fly for leads to take to the air. Take them up in dirty weather up there. And let's keep them flying there. structure and function of the aerial type torpedo. Now to make sure that you've all understood, I'd like one of you to repeat in detail the description I've just given. What about you, Mr. Roberts? Huh? I'm sure you won't have any trouble. What do you mean? About the aerial type torpedo. Oh. Well, this torpedo is a recent and valuable addition to Air Force armament. It functions for both air and water attack. It has a water speed capable of 56 knots and air speed unlimited. It contains 963 pounds of high explosive in the warhead, which is enough to make a molehill out of a mountain. The motor operates by hot gases, fumed by the combustion of secret chemicals and compressed air. The air is stored in a special chamber, 4,862 pounds to the square inch. And the motor of the torpedo was started by the simple expedient of releasing that pin. Anything else, Professor? That's all for today, gentlemen. Hey, Blackie, how many miles an hour did Jinx say that that thing goes on water? Miles an hour? Yeah. Well, it's not miles an hour. <laughs> not on water. There's nautical terms for that. Now, if you walked up to a sailor and you asked a sailor how fast that was going, he wouldn't say miles to you. No? He'd say knots to you. He would, huh? Mm-hmm. And I say knots right back to him. Oh, well, uh, I mean, After all, I think I don't want to talk. I mean, there's no use talking like that. It's well, I mean useless. That, that... Hey, you! Come here. Who, me? Come here. That man wants you. Okay. Return this torpedo to the supply office for shipment to the air depot. Are you sure you mean me? Yeah, you. Get on and watch your step. Okay. No, no, no. Wheel it out of here. You and the rest come with me. Hey, Blackie. Come What's here. the matter? I'm scared of this thing. Why? You heard what Jinx said. This is full of high explosives. What are you worrying about? The explosives are in the front. You stand in the back. Then if it explodes, you'll never know it. Oh. I'll never know it. I don't get it. I think I'll christen you after my girlfriend. Heath, Cliff. Hiya, Heathy. What's cooking? I was just going to christen this Gloria. After me? Why? Must I tell you? <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Let me try it. Go ahead, you christen it. Okay. You better close your eyes so the splash won't get all over you. Well, you better close yours too so you don't get wet. All right. Go ahead, you. do it. Okay. I christen thee Gloria. Planes are flying too low. Much too low. That was you, wasn't it? What are you christening me for? I was christened a long time ago. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Heathcliff. You all right? I'm all right, but it's a little gadget I'm worried about. Hey, okay. you know much about these things? Oh, sure. Is it dangerous? Only if you pull the pin out. What pin? This here one right here. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Whoop. Wait for me! Torpedo, I'll never speak to you again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, Cliff, where are you taking that torpedo? I ain't taking it. It's taking me! Come back. Come back.
Don't grab me. Get out. Don't push. Hold still. You're scratching me. Scratching you. I'm cutting my... Ooh, 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 ooh. Spin and then level her out at 6,000. Okay, kid. Just an off day. We'll make it tomorrow. than any of them. What's wrong with me, Jinx? Maybe your instructor's got something to do with it. No, it's not Craig's fault. He spent more time with me than any other student he has. Why would he do that if he didn't want me to make it? Oh, you'll solo. Soon, too. Stay, uh, Jim. Linda and I are going out and have some fun tonight. How about coming along? Thanks, Jinx, but not tonight. And don't say anything to Linda, will you? You go and have a good time. See, you're lucky with me. You know, I still can't believe it. That you're here with me tonight, I mean. I can't quite believe it myself. But then I often have strange, weak moments. Well, that's good. Lunch? Yes, sir. How many you got? About 20. 20? Give me one. One? That's all I want, just one. Yeah. You can't really spend. I mean, after all, if you're going to make faces at me like that, I'll, I'll bring my business someplace else. Come on, let's go in here. Well, there's Jinx and Letter going in the Tunnel of Love. Tunnel of Love? You know, Gloria, that's the one place where I could have an awful lot of fun with you. How? Well, first of all, you and I could get in a boat all by ourselves. Yes. And then when the boat gets to a nice dark place. Yes. Where nobody could see us. Yes. <laughs> and then what'll happen? We could take our shoes off and put our feet in the water. Yes. Why, of all the unromantic dopes. <laughs> oh, you poor guy. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Che cheapskate. Gloria! Gloria! It's the dizzy. It's... You can't do that. Come back here. Gloria! No, no, you don't. Not so fast. Ooh. Oh, so it's you, is it? Kate. You know, 
Barbara. I used to steal in this place. You did? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I bet it was fun, huh? Yes. What? We always... Oh, oh, I... oh, oh. What's the matter? What's the matter? Let's leave Oh, that's only a stuffed day. Everything around here is a fake. I'm glad I'm scared oh, of Oh, come now. Come on, dear. Come now. Oh. Did anybody see what I saw? Gloria. My girl. With my best friend. Blackie. Blackie. Why do this to me? I've always been nice, Blackie. I'm true with women. No more. Can't get over it. Oh. Ooh. No more women for me. I was living a nice life. Thank you. I was minding my own business and everything else. Have another one? Gotta find time to get brave. Of all the times to pick out. Gloria, is, is that you? I hope. Give me your hand. I want you to. your nails. Wait for me! Come on, sweetheart, relax. Let's have some fun. There's nothing in here to hurt you. I know, I'm, I'm just a little bit frightened. I'd much rather get out of here. All right, we'll get out if we can... Gloria! Hey, Barbara Blackie! Gloria! Why, Gloria, what are you doing here? Uh, I've been playing tag with Heathcliff. I don't know what's cooking here. Once he loves me, then he doesn't love me. I don't get it. You know, I think the guy's wacky. No, I get it. He thinks that you're you, and he thinks that Barbara is you too. He really doesn't know that you're sisters. Gloria, I'm sorry. Two of them. Come here, Heathcliff. Heathcliff, come here. What's wrong, Lucky? I never took a drink in my life, but right now I feel like getting drunk. No. I do, really. No, you don't want to drink. Remember, every time you go into a bar room, the devil goes in with you. If he does, he buys his own drink. Oh. Oh, you don't understand. They're twins. Twins? You mean Gloria's two girls? No, Barbara is my girl. And Gloria is your girl. Come on, Barbara. See you later, Gloria. Hi, Heathcliff. <laughs> Gloria. Yes. I'm sorry. I've been a fool. A big fool. Oh, it's nothing at all. <clears throat> Come on, sweetheart. Not that one. That one's mine. The wait, other one. wait a minute, let me see. She's yours. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm looking for the boy with the wistful eyes. Oh, I adore the boy with the wistful eyes. We met and for a second... His lonely eyes beckoned Then the chance was missed I passed the boy I should have kissed Though I don't 
don't know what color his eyes may be I can't forget the way that they looked at me And now all alone Through two wistful eyes of my own All I'm looking for, I realize Is the boy with the wistful eyes I'm looking for the boy with the wistful eyes Oh, oh, I adore the boy with the big sharp eyes. We met, and for a second, his lonely eyes beckoned. Then the chance was missed. I passed the boy I should have kissed. So I don't know what color his eyes may be. Can't forget the way that they looked at me. And now, all alone, the two wistful eyes of my own, all I'm looking for, I realize, is the boy with the wistful eyes. We're looking for the girl with the wistful eyes. They've all done very well, except two men. Joyce and Roberts, yes, sir. I wouldn't worry about Joyce. There's a special problem there, but I think he'll make it. And Roberts? Well, uh, maybe the answer for Roberts is another instructor, sir. You mean someone who knows less about him? Looking over Roberts' records, I find he was once discharged as a commercial airline pilot. His license temporarily suspended for flying through a storm against the dispatcher's orders. Was he, sir? Yes. And his co-pilot on that particular flight was a man named Morrison. Craig Morrison. Yes, sir. Are you in favor of eliminating him? Major, we need flyers, and potentially Jinx Roberts would make one of the best Army pilots that ever hit the blue. But when that happened years ago, he got the mistaken impression that it was I who reported him. So maybe with another instructor, he might... Come in. Mr. Roberts, certain facts concerning your past record as a flyer have just come to my attention. Those facts, plus your record since you arrived here, would seem to call for a review of your entire case. Pending that review, you will remain on post and do no flying. You're grounded. Is that clear? It's only too clear, sir. That's all, mister. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to give you a lesson. I'm going to teach you how to fly. Look, I don't want to fly. I've got a very funny complex about these things. Wait a minute. There's no engine in this plane. I know. Even so, Look, you see the boys taking it out? Yeah. Come on, now, get in there. No. Come no. on, get up in there. Oh, Blackie, I don't want to get up there. Get up there. Please, Blackie, I don't want to get up there. Get up there. Come on. Blackie, Blackie, don't. Get up there. Get in there now. I don't want to get up. Go ahead. What's the matter? What's the matter? Look how high I am. Oh, stop that. Give me a parachute. Blackie. What's the matter? Let me come down. Give me a parachute, will it, Blackie? A parachute? Give me an umbrella. Give me something, will it, Blackie? What do you want that for? I'm getting airsick. Oh, behave. Do something for me, somebody, will it? Come on. Stop the plane. Stop the plane, will it? Stop what plane? This plane is not moving. Oh, don't be ridiculous, please. My head's going around, huh? That's impossible. Flying today is as safe as sleeping in a baby's cradle. Now, come on, okay, get in. Okay, you fly. I'll go by cradle. Get in there. Get in there. Go ahead. Okay. That's the boy. Now, strap yourself in there. 
Huh? Strap yourself in there. Strap myself in? Yeah. In the plane? Yes. With a strap? With a strap. Around me? Around here. Yes. No, wait, what, what's the matter now? I ain't gonna strap myself in there. Why won't you strap yourself in? Let go. Blackie, let go. I'm not gonna strap myself in that airplane. Why not? In case I want to jump out. I'm not gonna drag no plane with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, now come here. What goes, kid? I'm through. Washed out. Who said so? Nobody, but that's what it means. Everybody in the class has had a chance to solo except me. I'm not going to get a chance. Did Morrison tell you that? He didn't have to. Where is it? Jinx, that's no good for either one of us. This is a better idea. Well, packing your bags all right, but how are you going to get out of here? You just can't walk out the front gate without a pass, you know. Hey, maybe you're right. Why don't we both kiss this place goodbye? Come on. Hurry up, Blackie. Wait a minute, Jinx. You can't what? do this. You can't go up in the air in a ship. You can't go up without orders. You're grounded. Write me a letter, brother, will you, Heavey? Write your letter. If the major ever finds out about this, he'll send you so far. It'll cost me $10 to send you a postcard. Here's the other shoe. Hey, mister, have you got a clearance? When you see my friend Morrison, give him our love, will you? Even you admit Jinx is a great flyer. Maybe he's trying to help Jim. He's breaking regulations. Can't anything ever be more important than your regulations? Listen, you crazy fool. Get back down here. Get down now. Just as you say, Professor, I'll be right down. Thinks he's back on the circus. Now he's got to solo. Go on, mister. Jim, can you hear me? Jim, what's wrong up there? The bottle is jammed. I can't get my speed to land. Don't take any chances. Bail out. You understand? I want you to bail out. Don't take Don't any chances. Don't bail out. If he bails out now, I'll never fly again. Yeah, Give bail me that out, phone. will you? Give me that phone. Jim. Oh. Don't bail out, kid. You can make her. Just cut your engine and let her glide. Starts to stall, drop her nose. Stick to that ship, kid. you can walk away from is a good landing. Get him to the hospital at once. Yes, oh, yes, sir. Find time to bail out, Roberts. When your throttle was stuck, you still don't care very much about other people's lives, do you? You don't think that... Linda! Linda! Look, it'll be all right. It'll be okay. Well, Roberts? I don't think there's much can be said. If that boy's badly hurt, there'll be charges against you, serious charges. If not, 
You can start looking for another circus in the morning. You're washed out. Doctor, Jim's all right. No, Miss Joyce. Tell Joyce. me the truth, please. Well, unless my diagnosis is wrong, your brother is suffering from nothing more serious than shock. There's every reason to hope that he'll be as fit as ever tomorrow morning and up there flying. But you aren't sure. <laughs> I'm sure enough to know that you'll be better off and so will he if you go home and get some rest. Thank you, Doctor. Good night. Good night, Miss Joyce. Linda. Linda. I've been looking all over for you. You can't believe that I let that kid up there with a throttle jam, because I, I didn't. All right, you didn't. Wait a minute. I'm leaving in the morning. I've been trying to run things my way, and as usual, my way went haywire. It's... It's funny, the things that a guy will do sometimes to try and make a girl realize that he's in love with her, isn't it? Yes, Jinx, it certainly is. Very funny. The starting procedure is simplicity itself. On contact, you turn the switch, pull the toggle to engage the starter, and then hit the booster mag. Easing the throttle forward increases the speed of the engine. For the takeoff, you Come on. ease the stick back. OK, boy, she's all set and ready to go. There's still plenty of life in this old crate yet. You're telling me. Now, come on, Heathcliff. I'm going to give you another lesson on how to fly. Good. You know, Blackie, I'm not afraid anymore. No? No. Flying this plane without an engine, that's a lot of fun. Ah. <laughs> you can't fly this plane off the ground without an engine. I know. That's why it's a lot of fun. All right, come on, put this on. Okay. Go ahead. It's going to be a little too hot, so I don't think I'll eat that. All right. Get up there. There we are. Okay, okay. That's the boy. I'll push. Look how brave I get up now. I swear. I, I don't even ask to come. That height gets me. No, every time no, I look no, no. You see, you're starting it all over. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Right, go ahead, get in. That's the boy. Now, don't forget what the instructor told you. Yeah. Well, he didn't tell you, but he told the rest of the boys, and we heard him, didn't we? Yeah, he said, first you got to turn on the switch, and then you put your hand on the start over here. That's right. Hey, Black. Black. What's that noise? Well, that's one of those planes over there. Oh, Pay yeah. no attention to that. You enjoy yourself. Some darn fool forgot to put the brake on. Well, put it on. Stop shaking the plane. I'm not shaking the plane. Here. <laughs> Boy, he's a cold. Why do they put air cooling systems in these hangars? I'm going out and get my jacket.
finest groups of cadets we've ever turned out, Colonel. Hey, Jinx, do we have to beat it right now? There's a big show going on out there on the field, and the whole place is full of admirals. Generals, you dope. This is the army. I'm sorry. Look, Jinx, please. We're getting out now. Don't you take my arm along with you. Spread your wings, you eagles, and fly. Time for fledglings to take to the air. Hit the beam and get those planes in the sky. And let's keep them flying there. We're an all-American team. And we see every play eye to eye. Hit them hard and fast, let that be our theme. And let's keep them flying. Shortcut myself. Be safe here. We'll follow you right in, sir. Calling Bevan in Transport 4. One of the parachutists is caught on your fuselage. Don't land the ship till you get him loose. Can you see who it is? Morrison, sir. We can't get him. He's out of our reach from inside the plane. What orders? Just keep flying. Jinx! Jinx! Look! Who is that? Morris. Morris. Well, they can't figure out how to get him down. Where are you going? Jinx! Come on. Jinx! You can't walk an apple! Let him try and stop me. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know yet. Stop pushing. Let me get my feet in. But don't push. I don't want to fall out. Move oh. over. Oh, still. Will you let me get my feet in? Oh, don't push me. Hello? Robert's calling. Contact the transport and tell him to keep flying level at 90. I'm going to get underneath him and try to get him into my ship. Okay. Bevan's in the transport. Bevan's in the transport. Listen. Keep flying level at 90. Roberts is going to...
crack yourself up. Hold on, Craig. Here goes nothing. Out of us. I was a bit scared myself. Jinx! I... I don't know what a guy says in a case like this. Yes, I do. Thanks for proving I was right. I don't get it. When I told the Major that Jinx Roberts is the best flyer that ever hit the blue. Okay, Professor. Jinx! I had a long talk with Jim about yesterday. I should have known you were trying to help, and it worked. And I'm very grateful, Jinx. Grateful and... You certainly can't make it difficult for a girl. What do I have... Attention! Excuse the interruption, mister, but that was a superb job up there. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. What's this man doing in Mufti, Major? We should have him in the Corps. Well, I was in the Corps, sir, but I washed out for good reasons. I'm beginning to realize that. As long as you feel that way, I have an idea your case needs reconsideration, Roberts. Report to my office after maneuvers. Yes, sir. Carry on, mister. What's wrong? The motor is clunking out. You boys better bail out. Better bail out. Bail out? Yes. Five thousand feet in the air, the guy wants me to look for a bossman? I won't wait for bail out. Jump out. Shooter. Yeah. With your shoot on. Yeah, with my shoot on. What do you think I'm going to do? Jump in my underwear? Come on, Black. Oh. The motor is okay. Don't jump. How do you think I feel about it? Heathcliff, please don't go up in the air anymore. Don't you worry, Gloria. If I live to be a million, nobody will ever get my feet off the ground again. Blackie! Let's go, me! Where? 